You decide. It's up to you. It really is. But that's a good thing, okay? It's a good thing because you have power. And I'm going to show you how you can unlock that power in this video. I'm going to show you a technique that you can use that will allow you to do anything, right? It's a superpower that you can use, and you can use this for anything, and you can use it every single day of your life, whenever you want at any moment in time. It's like a switch. You can just flip it on, and it's going to make you extremely powerful. And this is real. This is a real thing. You'll be able to do it as soon as you watch this video. And the reason I thought of this video, by the way, is because well, one, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but I was on Facebook like six months ago, and there was some guy, he posted a comment about his weekend. And it just seemed, I don't know, it seemed like he was approaching things in a very, I don't know, I just, I felt bad for him. I felt like he needed some direction in his life. I didn't comment or anything, but I walked away and I thought, poor guy, you know, here's a guy, he's like 26 years old or so, and I don't know, I just felt like he needed some guidance. And I think this trick, this technique, this superpower would have helped this guy. It would have helped him regain his focus, accomplish his goals, and he would have a legitimate superpower that he could use. In life, when you are trying to do something, you have to take action. If you are trying to study for a test, you have to actually study for the test. If you are trying to build muscles, you actually have to go to the gym and lift weights. If you're trying to get a better job, you actually have to apply. Action, action, action. I've talked about this before. So this superpower is going to allow you to act. It's going to get you to act. It's going to get you to do things immediately. And that's what people need. That's how you succeed, right? Think about your day. Think about cramming sessions. If you're in college or if you've ever been in school, think about all the studying you do the night before the test. I used to ask myself, why can't I study that hard every single day? I would be a super genius. I would be I, I'd be incredibly smart. I would know so much math. It's, it's crazy. Why can't I do that? Well, you get tired when you cram. That, that's one reason, right? Mental energy, we're limited. All right, so if you're trying to do something and you feel like your mind is filled with thoughts, the first step, and, and you can skip this first step if you need to, okay? But you're going to need it sometimes. And, and it sounds cheesy, but it works, OK? The first step is to go outside, if you can, and take a deep breath. And hopefully the air is clean where you live. Four to five deep, long breaths. And just relax. Feel grounded. Just, it just gets, feels good. gets oxygen flowing. It feels really, really good when you do that. This is a proven technique. There's all kinds of things that people have developed out there for like all kinds of stuff, spiritual stuff and like yoga. I mean, breathing is used everywhere, right? This is step one of this superpower. If you need it, you might not need it. You really only need it when you're really just feeling like stressed. Maybe you just got out of a stressful situation. Maybe you just got back your test and you failed. Uh, maybe you just got into a big argument with your significant other, whatever, right? Deep breaths, deep breaths breaths. That's the first step. The second step is the most powerful step, and I probably could have started the video with this step. What are you thinking about right now? Or when you're in that situation, think about what are you thinking about? You will realize that you can really only focus on one thing at a time, right? Really. Like, if you're solving a math problem, you have to focus on that math problem. You can't be thinking about the pizza you're going to order tonight or the fact that your friend's coming over and you're going to binge watch Netflix, right? You have to focus on the mathematics. So how do you do that? Well, by pushing out the other thoughts. So you have to actively 
push out those other thoughts of your mind. So let's say, let's say you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I really have to do some mathematics. Ah, uh, uh, but you know, I kind of want to go, you know, I don't know, go to my friend's house or whatever. I want to play video games. I want to play League. I love League of Legends. So like, oh, I want to play League instead. I can do the homework later. Say, no, no, I need to push that out of my mind. Focus on, on mathematics. Push it out. You have to actually be self-aware enough to be aware of your thoughts so that when you are having thoughts that are not constructive towards what you are trying to accomplish, you can push those thoughts out of your mind. This requires self-awareness, which is super key, okay? Super important, super powerful, life-changing. I'm not kidding. Think about it. I have known people who are awesome. Like, they are so effective. I knew a guy once in graduate school, top grades, never late, never missed class, good teacher. I mean, just a great guy all around, right? Always finished the homework before everyone else, always seemed well composed, never seemed stressed, ever. The guy was, he just seemed like, Super chill, like everything was great. Everyone's, everyone around him is stressed and struggling. He's like, oh, hey guys, oh yeah, I finished the homework. Superpower. How was he able to do it? Because he took action. He took action before the rest of us. He didn't worry about stuff. He just sat down and did it. You can be like that too or better in any aspect of your life. But you have to push those those thoughts out, those other thoughts. So once you're focused on your thought, the next step is to actually realize that you have to take action, okay? You say, what? Yeah, you have to take action because if you don't take action, you've already failed, you see? And again, the only thing that helps you is action. So if you think about the past, you think about your failures, or maybe you're thinking about something good. The point is it's already happened. It doesn't help you right now. So whenever you find yourself thinking about the past and you have to do something, push that thought out. Right, push it out. Focus on what you need to do. The other state of mind you have to fight is the future for this to work. When you are thinking about the future, which is fine, it's good to have dreams, but a common mistake is, oh, what math book should I use? Oh, what should I study? Or, oh, which class should I study for? Push it away. Pick one up. Just pick it up and do it. Push your past thoughts out. Push your future thoughts out. You know, push that away. Focus on the thought that is important, the one in the present. So ultimate self-awareness. Ultimate self-awareness. When you can do this, my friends, you will work hard. You will work very hard. You will outwork everyone. You will become invincible. It will change your life. Now, you got to have motivation for all this to work, right? You do. You do. You, ha you have to have motivation. And I, I made a video where I talked about having a really big dream. And, and you need that motivation to get you to work because otherwise, you know, it's like maybe I want to learn how to program in C sharp, let's say. I know C, I taught myself C, but I don't know C sharp. But What's, what's my incentive? Sure, I can probably, it, it would help me, but is my time better used for something else? Is it really my big dream, right? So find your big dream. Find that goal that you would choose to pursue if you have the ability to never fail and pursue it and believe that you can do it. And then use this superpower to get there, to take action. This is also effective even if, even if you don't have a big goal in some sense. Maybe you just have a lot of pressure. Maybe you have to go to work and you have to do something for work and it sucks. You know, your, your boss is giving you like some horrible task. It's like, this is terrible. What's the point of this? I mean, maybe there is no point. Maybe you're right. But at least you're getting paid, right? Sometimes it's like that in life. We just have to suck it up. But with this superpower, you can blow through that task at work, right? Stop thinking about those past experiences. 
Stop thinking about the future. Be present, be self-aware, and say, hey, I have to get this done right now. That creates a sense of urgency. Action, action, action. This superpower will lead you to action. Remember, the first step is important if you can't get yourself to do this, okay? It takes practice, but I want you to try it. Okay, I want you to try it. So again, if you're feeling scatterbrained, if you're feeling like there's just too much going on, deep breath, my friends. Take a really deep breath, let it out. Do it four or five times. Okay, four or five. Three works too, but four or five is outside. And then say, okay, what do I need to do today? What, what, what needs to get done? And when you find yourself thinking about past thoughts, past events, or future events that have yet to occur, push them aside. Focus on the present. Focus on the present. I want to end this video with one thing. If you have something you're wanting to do, and you're not doing it, and you know you have to do it, and you can do it, or maybe you think you can do it, but you're afraid of something. So you have this unresolved thing in the future that is really eating you up, and you just haven't gotten to do it yet, for whatever reason. Well, realize that when you finally take action and complete that task, all that stress is going to go away. Or a lot of it is. Most of the time, a lot of stress actually comes not from actually doing the thing, but from the anticipation of doing it. Okay, like a concrete example is like, let's say you have math homework, right? You're thinking, oh, I don't really want to do my math homework. Oh, I'm tired, I just don't want to do it. But I have to do it because it's due tomorrow. Then, you know, time passes. That's stress. That is not good for you. You want to be like, oh, the math homework. Yeah, I need to do it now. I'm not going to worry about the fact I have to do it. I'm not going to worry about the past. I'm just going to focus on the one thing I can control right now that's going to take away all my stress and is going to lead me to success. That is the present. And if you still can't do it, take those deep breaths, then repeat the process. The past is the past. The future has yet to arrive. I'm going to be present. I'm going to take action. And I'm going to get it done now. Push those thoughts out, right? Push those thoughts out. You get better over time. And again, it removes stress from your life. It makes, it makes you happier. It makes you more at peace. Yes, pressure and urgency get you to act. But the secret to being really effective in all these situations is to not have any stress and have a relaxed state of mind. Believe it or not, when the mind is relaxed, you perform better. Right? You perform better. Some of the most successful people in the world are extremely happy people. Not all of them, but a lot of them are very content and they're happy and it just drives success. You know. So after this video, when you close it, when you hit X, if you're still watching, I want you to try to use this superpower. I want you to try to do one thing today with this strategy. If you have anything you need to do today, whatever it is, what, maybe you have to vacuum, maybe you have to clean your room, whatever it is, think about that thing and then just do it. And if you can't get yourself to do it, say, wait a minute, I need to get it done. I need to get it done. And then just push other thoughts out of your mind and focus on that thing. Literally just say, hey, I can, I can push them out. Be self-aware and control your thoughts. And you can do anything, my friends. You will become unstoppable unstoppable. And there are people who already have this skill and they're just very good at it. They just have this mentality that, well, I just got to get it done. I just got to get it done. A oh, laundry, it just needs to get done. Be like those people or be better than them. Train your mind, become invincible, harness your superpower. Now go get it.